So many veterans who've returned home have been in need of a little help realizing their American dream. And Ron Claiborne takes a look at one program, making sure they do just that. As a proud Marine, John Raftery took part in the U.S. invasion of Iraq. He returned home physically intact, but psychologically scarred. It was a very dark time in my life. Suffering from PTSD, yeah, okay, Raftery heard about a business program at Syracuse University for people just like himself, disabled veterans of the Iraq and Afghanistan wars. He applied and was accepted. Where do you think you find opportunity? It's called the Entrepreneurship Boot Camp for Veterans, the brainchild of Mike Haney, a former Air Force officer, now business professor at Syracuse. Its aim? To teach disabled veterans who have had a hard time fitting into a 9 to 5 job how to start their own small businesses. A bomb blast or a gunshot has changed their lives forever. And if they can craft a vocation for themselves through self-employment, they can craft that vocation in a way that allows them to accommodate some of those challenges. The program was just expanded to family members caring for severely injured vets. In the first class, Nalita Bagley, whose son Jose Pequeño was severely brain damaged by a grenade in Iraq. Five years ago, she quit her job in New Hampshire and moved to Florida to take care of her son. He doesn't speak. He doesn't move. Uh, he said 100 percent care. We have to do everything for him. She wants to learn how to start a business assisting other caretakers of wounded vets from her home so she can be with her son. This program gave me um, the opportunity to, to, to have a, a, an outlook at the future and say there is a light at the end of that tunnel. About half of the 320 wounded vets who've been through the program now have businesses up and running, restaurant owners, a movie maker, and John Raftery, for, whose construction company is on track to bring in $3 million this year. Okay. For these men and women who risk their lives for America, a new shot at the American dream. Ron Claiborne, ABC News, Syracuse, New York.